music of March is a love song. South winds are warm, sweeping away the sere winter and bearing ducks to their northern homes. For a time, waterfowl take center stage. They stop to feed and court, filling the air with sound and beauty. But to see it, you'd best not tarry. There's nesting business up north. A few days can end this urgent passage as birds push on, leaving behind the empty tables of a natural prom. Time it right and you'll see an unforgettable dance on sky and water. Wearing their finest colors, duck species congregate, but each has its own rituals of romance. Some are similar. Unpaired hens receive constant attention as hopeful suitors surround and court them. Males show their best moves, sometimes shoving and fighting to stay closest to the hen and the vying may last for days until the hen selects a mate. Courtship is rigorous and relentless. As with all parties, this is not a quiet time. Each species gives constant voice and the air is filled with whistles, quacks, and the sounds of splashing water. Pleasant sounds, not too soft, not too loud, the marsh is graced with this natural choir. Together in ring performances along a giant stage, the sound and motion suggest a circus. In the air is the show's real beauty. Here, tightly bunched ducks fly in unison, dipping and waving as the hen leads the way. Again and again throughout the day, courtship flights trace the marsh perimeter, buzzing with energy. These graceful flights are nature's own air show. One by one, the hens select their mates. These pairs relax and separate from the breathless marathon, feeding and building energy for the nesting season. Serious work lies ahead. And then suddenly, the marsh is empty as the procession moves on. Seeing the duck migration is a wondrous prelude to a new growing season. It's a lucky person who takes in this music of March. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.